our walkthrough COVID protocol video. I'm going to go over initially the rider team duties for you. So whoever's helping me with the riders, as you can see, we've got a PPE station at the end of the desk. There will also be aprons on this station as well. Those in the rider team, the person who's actually going to be helping me with the rider needs to wear an apron. Otherwise, people in the um, rider team need to wear gloves and a mask. Not your own mask, one of these disposable masks. Initially, we'll bring down all the equipment from the container with Lisa's help. Lisa is the COVID officer. And then what we need to do is, so we can see all the equipment here and ready. We're not using any toys, so we don't need to be, bring the big trolley down, just the saddles and the um, rainbow reins and things like that for the equine team to begin getting ready. Then what we're going to do, the job of the rider team, is to come through to the lift area. And the first thing we need to do with the lift is obviously to switch it on. So we'll unlock the padlock and switch the lift on. And then we're going to use an antibacterial wipe to wipe down the switch. <laughs> then we'll open the gates leading into the arena. And Lorna is over here. And once we've taken the equipment out of the lift, set up the ramp, as you can see, we'll then open the doors in the arena and put the mounting block, the martello block, into the arena in the um, correct place. Okay, you need to press the white button. Gates. Lisa's going to take the screws off. Lorna's already in the arena. And Lorna would be wearing gloves as well. And then obviously we remove the top sill. screws which are a little bit stiff as you can see that's it when we open the door just take the bolts out and then these two pieces of wood are also removed and taken to the side of the arena pieces of wood go in which um, slots. And these can be removed to the side of the arena as well, beside the sill. Okay. We'll just come back and do the next piece of wood. Could you go and yeah. show where they're putting them? Yeah. Yeah. Into position 
in the arena. Once we've done this, we're going to wipe everything down. So we'll, we'll um, brush off the top of the Martello block and we'll get some, um, our bucket that we'll have on standby containing um, fairy liquid and our sponge and we'll wipe everything down over the lift and the martello block. So we'll just pause now and take you through what the rider team, what the equine team will be doing while the rider team are getting everything ready for the rider. Okay, so now we move on to what the rider, the equine team, sorry I keep saying rider team, equine team will be doing while the rider team are doing all the stuff you've just seen. The equine team initially don't have to wear masks as they're only coming into contact with the horses, but you'll notice that both Marsha and Linda are wearing special gloves. These are a little bit more hard wearing, but they're washable. And these are the equine team gloves. So they should put those on and get a mask out ready to, to go on, um, although they don't have to wear that mask in the stable, but they do need to, to have their gloves on. The horses will already be in the stables, but what they need to get are the head collars, the Christ saddles. You'll notice as well that the Christ saddles are covered with a fleecy saddle cover. There'll be one of these for each rider and each one of these will be put into a bucket after the rider's finished and will be washed at the end of the session. They need to go and get the bridles from the ARC tack groom and bring those down as well as having the head collars, the grooming kits as you can see and um, the saddles. Then the horses will be groomed as usual and tacked up, as you can see, with the nose bands taken off the um, bridles and the head collars underneath the bridles. Um, then the um, horses can be tacked up with their Christ saddles on. So these horses have already been groomed. The horses we'll use will stay the same. So we'll have the choice of three of the horses. As you can see, Linda's tacking up Jemima, Marsha's tacking up Freddy, and we'll also be using Gizmo. And I'll decide and let you know beforehand on the rotor which rider is using which horse. Because we'll only have one rider at a time, obviously there'll be more time to tack up between riders and we won't need more than one horse ready at one time but for the sake of today's training day we have got both Freddie and Jemima ready to go. We're going to use Jemima first so Freddie's lead rope can just stay off and his girth can just be put on loosely so that he's ready for the second rider. It's very important um, that the horses are warmed up before the riders come. So Linda will take Jemima through. She has already had a little warm up this morning. So Linda will take, she'll put her mask on and take Jemima through to warm her up. Mm -hmm. 
If she wants to give her a little trot to warm her up before the rider arrives, she can take her mask down to do this. So it's easier to breathe, obviously. We're not going to be doing any trotting with the riders though, because obviously we need to wear masks when the riders are um, mounted. back leg by the looks of things <laughs> into the arena and we'll shut the arena doors so Linda's going to go through and warm Jemima up and get her ready for mounting I would obviously have a rider in here um, and then the rider and I would take the lift up to an appropriate height the mountain. Rider, as you can see, Linda's waiting with Jemima, and the rider will call Jemima, I'm ready, and Linda will bring Jemima through, as we always do. Lorna will be waiting on the Marcello block. I will go and take over from Lisa, making sure I don't go too near to my own process.
take them out of the arena through the fire door following the one-way system. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, my other side helper, my other member of the rider team, will take off the fleece saddle cover and the rainbow reins. So we have one set of rainbow reins and one saddle cover per rider. Ready to got the pickers for the day. black bag, a plastic bag, and the fleece saddle cover will go into the plastic bag. The rainbow reins will then be sanitised in order to be used again next week. The horse will come out and go into the stable. And if he's going to be used again, he'll get a new fleece saddle cover and new rainbow reins put on. If he's not going to be used again, he'll have his rug put back on and he'll be untacked. And if the nose band has been removed from the bridle, the nose band will have to go back on the bridle. The tack will be wiped down, the head collar also, and um, the tack will be returned to the tack room. Thank you.